A local man is sharing his collection on a former president. Yeah, Cody's caravan is in Rio Vista getting all the details. Hi, Cody. Hey, good morning, you guys. Yes, we're uh, caravan made its way to Rio Vista. I had heard tale that Bob had this incredible collection and investigation on the JFK assassination. And Bob, this is amazing. It, it looks great out here. <laughs> And it's staged. It was in the pantry. So, <laughs> so I got to go out and show what I have on it. Let's go back in time. Okay, where were you when Kennedy was shot? I was working at Stokely Van Camp in Oakland, mm -hmm. and some woman got a phone call, and she hysterically <laughs> started screaming the president was shot. So I told everybody I'd go out in the back where there was a radio, so I checked it out. Came in and told, I, I won't tell the other part of <laughs> <laughs> about the man that <laughs> made the comment. Anyway, that was the start of being involved in something like this. Mm -hmm. And then later on in 1966, I was listening to the radio <clears throat> and heard a person talking about the assassination, and it was Mark Lane, who tried to be an attorney for Lee Harvey Oswald before the Warren Commission. Oh, okay. But they wouldn't allow it. So anyway, I, he had a book out then, and I next day I went out and purchased it, and then I'm telling everybody about it, and people are saying, not again, quit talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I don't know if you want to see the book or... Uh, this, is, this is it. This, this is, is what started this everything. This is the book. And I loaned it to somebody, didn't get it back. And much, about six or seven years later, maybe not that long, I bought some books at the bookstore and they had, a copy, had about eight copies of this sitting there. So I grabbed it and it was a dollar and a half. And later on, I saw it all highlighted, and I all oh, that got, don't need that. But much later, I opened it up, and it was signed by the author, which started me on this journey. On oh, this journey, yeah. So that was amazing to me. Um, okay, so we're going to break this down. We're going to start looking at stuff. But this right here is... This is a Bruder film. That's this is a Bruder film. Uh, Penn Jones, I showed you the magazine. Uh -huh. He's the one that sold it to me. <laughs> okay, so we'll just pause there because we're going to go through this because you saw this years before everybody else saw it, yeah. which is quite wild. I'm sure there were other people that <laughs> had copies of it. and but Yeah. Okay, that's coming up. That story's coming up. I, I am enjoying this so much. Okay, so let's break down the film that you get a hold of. On uh, Geraldo Rivera, he had a nighttime show. Yeah. They showed the Zapruder film for the first time. Yeah. But that wasn't the first time you saw the film. When did you see the film? I, at least a year before that. And I got it, and my projector was at my brother's house. And so we sat down, and he hooked up the film. And we're sitting at his kitchen table, so the first time I saw it was on the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> you projected onto the refrigerator. <laughs> That's crazy. And this was the person that got me the film, and he was one of the original critics, mm. and he was right down there, so he knew a lot of things in Texas. So you're just a guy. You were fascinated by what happened. The Warren Commission came out didn't quite make a lot of sense to you. No. So you just kind of started researching yourself. Is that how it worked? That's, that's exactly right. And the more I read, the more I changed what my original thing was, that, uh. that Oswald did it. I'm not sure he did it at, at all now. Oh, really? Yeah. So it, this has been hot lately because Rob Reiner has been doing a podcast right. where he says he knows who did it and everything like that. Yeah. Why do you think this is still out there in the public realm that people are still talking about this? Yeah, I'm not sure. A lot of people, I think there's like 44,000 papers still classified. Uh -huh. I don't know why, but 
if there's anything bad in there, I think it would have been blacked out a long time ago. Right, right. But uh, so I think that's kind of a movement that some people are doing. But then the Paul Landis, the Secret Service agent that came out with a book in September, saying he found a bullet in the car right behind where Kennedy was sitting. And that would change every. That, that may be the bullet that came out of here. Mm. So interesting, Bob. It's so interesting. <laughs> anyway. So you, you kind of paused this for a while. You got into genealogy and stuff, and then I found out about your collection, so you pulled it back out. Yeah. Are you still into it, though? Uh, I'm going to check a little more with Rob Reiner was uh -huh. working on, and, and uh, Paul Landis, I have his book of <laughs> I got that right away and read it in a couple of days. And... No, you, you got so into this. And then you found out that the FBI actually <laughs> was following you a little bit. Yeah. Were they doing that to a lot of independent researchers? Yeah, they were, they were getting information from for all, everybody. I got it on all of these magazines that come out, and they'd tell their stories about what happened. So I, I checked. I, I don't know. If, I think I went to the Justice Department, and I got that back. It was an FBI document, and it said about it. FBI file on me, <laughs> and I know it's me. There's a lot of Robert Phillipses, but there was a person that was sat next to me at work, uh -huh. name on there. So <laughs> I believe it was me. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, this isn't the only thing he collects. He also has a Raider collection that is unbelievable. So we're going to show that to you coming up. But thank you, Bob. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed my time with you today. We've been talking the whole commercial breaks. Yes, I came here to see the JFK investigation that you were doing, and then I stayed for the Raiders collection. Okay, so this is the thing. This man's Raider collection is amazing. These are your, your cards. Right. Uh, I'd never collected cards in my life and got excited when the Raiders came back from L.A. Uh -huh. And I, all of my collections from that point on. Okay. So. And they could never move again? Once they came back to Oakland, they'll stay there forever, right? Yeah. In my head, they are. Right. Okay, yeah. let's take you into the garage because this is so great. So, all was all this too? Uh, Want the lights on? Yeah, if you don't mind. Was this from Oakland on when they moved back? This collection? Yes, since uh, I don't remember the date when yeah, they yeah. moved back, but it, it, everything since that point in time. I went bananas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I was excited. They came back. <laughs> and they started winning when they came back. Uh-huh. Till half of the season. <laughs> and they started losing. <laughs> Look at all this. Tina, are you going crazy right now? This collection is so good. Uh, over here, you have all these. Raiders. I mean, this is, almost looks like the, the Wall of Fame at the, the Hall of Fame. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. I, they're all Raiders stuff. Uh, Jerry Rice came to the Raiders at the oh. end of his career. So I put him up on the wall. Here's plaque. The next morning that came out, he was on the ground. I thought they either kicked him out or he didn't want to be there <laughs> with the Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, you just got some new gnomes. This is, this is the latest things to the collection right here. Thinks you can make a warriors and an A's because I may do a section with all the teams that played in Oakland. Bob, I'm, I was born in Oakland. My uh, dad was born in Oakland. My kids were born in Oakland. Uh, so you're an Oakland dude, right? You are a fascinating gentleman. I am so glad we got to meet, man. I had a great time out here today. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Bob. I'll watch you every day now. Fine. <laughs> finally. Finally. That's what I have to do to get people to watch them. I have to hang out with them all morning, one at a time. I will do this, Bob. All right, there you go, guys. Back to you in the studio. That is crazy, that collection there. Love it, Code. And, Tina, what did you have to say again? I know. Raiders. It's great. What you, what Raiders. You win? Raiders. Raiders. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Thanks, Code.